Hi everyone, I'm Dan. And I'm Nicole. Welcome to Model Railroading for Beginners. Welcome. So in this episode, I wanted to talk about replacing wheels on rolling stock, meaning passenger cars or freight cars. And uh, the reason I want to talk about that is, well, one, it's, it's possible you might need to do it as a repair at some point, or if a wheel gets lost. Um, but um, the other reason I want to talk about it is a lot of beginners will start with a train set. And although most like rolling stock that you find in hobby shops for um, more experienced modelers these days is coming with metal wheels. Um, some of the train set type stuff like these Hogwarts Express cars that I got for Nicole a few years ago um, come with plastic wheels. And yes. the, the problem with plastic wheels that I have found is that they tend to accumulate and spread dirt on your track. And I found that out um, again I mean, I already knew that, but it was kind of reinforced this year with our holiday display layout because we would start the train and it would run for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and then it would start to stall at different spots on the track and eventually it would just stop completely. And we were trying to figure out what was going on because I'd already done the fix that I made a video about a little while ago about fixing the derailment problem with the engine, so it wasn't anything like that. Um, but then you know I would I would clean the track, and then it would run again for a while, and then do the same thing. So eventually, I tried running the engine just by itself without the cars, and I discovered that um, that was the problem was the cars. They were uh, basically making the track dirty, because especially with her little engine only has six driving wheels that are actually picking up electricity all the other wheels on the engine are electrically um, neutral so it's only got you know three wheels on each side that are making contact so it's a relatively small area so if it gets um, you know on a stretch of dirty track it's subject to stalling and you know any any smaller locomotive can have that problem or sometimes even bigger ones depending on how dirty the track gets so that's one of the reasons that I would really recommend uh, replacing plastic wheels and thankfully, um, there are aftermarket wheels available, and they're available in different sizes and in different scales. Um, whoops. <laughs> Don't break the train. Don't okay. break my train. <laughs> um, most of the time for North American equipment, the wheels will either be a scale 33 or 36 inch diameter, um, and they sell them usually labeled as such. So you want to make sure to get the appropriate ones. Uh, most modern freight cars have 36 inch wheels. Um, not all, but but as a rule, they, they tend to. And older freight cars, like from the 50s or earlier, tend to have 33-inch wheels. And what are these? Those are larger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are, I'm not sure what the equivalent scale size would be, but they're a, like a 14-millimeter wheel. These are actually quite a bit larger than any of the they're wheels very large. that I had. I actually, um, these were wheels that I ordered from the UK for um, Nicole's Hogwarts train that are specifically meant for these British cars. Um, and I guess, yeah, perfect. I guess in Great Britain, they must use a larger size wheel on some of their trains because these are a lot larger than anything. These, these are even larger than some of the wheels on my diesels in HO scale. But they, they match what's on the car and they're made, yes. these cars are Bachmann and these, these particular wheels are made by Bachmann and they are um, the right wheels for these cars. I, um, I did have to do a little bit of homework to figure out um, which wheels to get, which is something that um, is important to do because if you're buying third-party aftermarket wheels for a train, you want to make sure to not only get the right diameter, but to get the right axle length to fit the brand of truck that you're trying to put them in. Because um, if, the, if the axles are too short, then the wheels may like shimmy side to side and could even fall out completely okay because they're they're not in there very well and if the axle is too long then that acts like a break and the wheels might not spin very well so um, oh. you want to make sure to get the, the ones that are the right length um, there is a thing called a, 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 a reamer tool that um, looks kind of like a drill bit with two ends on it that people will sit in there and they'll use it to expand the little cone-shaped pocket in the truck side frame Oh. Um, to make longer axles fit better. But I, I'm hesitant to use those except as a last resort because if you do too much, um, you, know, you might end up 
putting uh, slop into the into the wheel and then you'll get that side to side shimmy problem. So my recommendation is to use graphite lubricant, which we'll do when we uh, work on these cars. Um, it helps them spin okay. better and it also helps to keep them from squeaking. <laughs> so, okay, nice. Um, anyway, um, before we get to the actual uh, installation of the wheels, it's a good thing to check the gauge. I found that um, these particular Bachman wheels uh, were mostly narrow in gauge a little bit, so I had to fix them. And I've already done that, so the set that's on the table is uh, fixed. But I, I did uh, produce a video a while back on fixing the wheel gauge, so if you want to take a look at that, it's here on the channel. Okay, so I put some shop towels down and also uh, got my little cradle here so, uh, to hold the car. Shop towels are to keep the tablecloth clean, and the uh, cradle is to keep the car uh, from getting damaged. Um, these cars don't have too much detail on them to get uh, knocked off, but still, it's a good idea to use something uh, soft under a train when you have it upside down. So the basic technique is you have to, um, because they're, 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 the axles are cone-shaped and the little pockets that they sit in are cone-shaped, you have to kind of spread the side frame and push the axle away from it a little bit. So you want to kind of... Let me, let me do one, I'll show you. Yeah. Kind of want to push this and at the same time pull, pull the wheel. It's a little, there. And then the other side, and it pops okay. out. Oh! There you go. Okay. Yeah, you want to kind of be a little gentle with it because you don't want to break it, obviously, but you know. But also, it's. Yeah, these are a little hard to do because they're difficult. Yeah, these are these are kind of difficult. Oh. These particular cars. Okay, good. You got two of the wheel sets on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do the other ones. Are you gonna do that one while I do this one? Yeah, I can do that. I don't have another cradle, but I'll put That's it on. That's how this. you get your husband to do half of the work for you. I'll put it on the soft, our fake snow over here. Oh yes, the fake snow. Do you want me to give you one of these? Um. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, these, these, the design of these makes it a little bit difficult to get the wheels out. So. Just a touch. I mean, it's not yeah. super difficult. I did expect. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Don't Gosh, worry about. I didn't break anything, right? Yeah. Don't worry about losing the old ones because I'm going to toss them anyway. But well, yes, that's fine. But we don't want to lose the new ones. No. Oof. Although I did buy a few extras, so if we if we did, I have replaced those. <laughs> that one popped way over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell when they're in your hand which one is plastic. Yeah, these are these so are heavier. Light. So um, yeah. now I some, noticed I did. Some weight. Yeah. They do give a little extra weight, which is good, because these cars actually aren't that heavy. They're so, super light. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's, it's always good to have a little more weight in the cars. Um, now, one thing I noticed, I did one car as a test, and um, it was a little squeaky. So what I want to do is to use some of this graphite lubricant that I talked about. So what we want to do is actually turn the car on its side. And... There's a little, you see that little micro brush there? Could I have that too? Thank you. Mm-hmm. I feel like Vanna White sometimes. <laughs> so I'm gonna take... <laughs> Sorry, aging myself for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put the tip of this like right in the, in the little uh, pocket that holds the axle. Just make sure there's a little bit in there, and then I'm going to take this micro brush and just kind of mush it around a little bit by twirling it. And that will coat it. I really like the powdered graphite. Um, I wouldn't recommend like using oil or something because oil tends to accumulate dirt and sometimes it can, in this particular application, can, can have the opposite effect of what you're trying to do. You know, instead of making it roll better, it'll gum it up. Now will you have to do that for each one? 
Yeah, we want to do this, and then I so I've turned the car over, and then we'll do the other side. Oh, oh my goodness! That's okay. You might want to take it out of the kernel for this stuff. Yep, I think so. <laughs> that's why this is beginners video, guys. Well, that's why I got Nicole. She graciously <laughs> volunteered to, to help me do this, and you know because. I want to show that anyone, uh, <laughs> well, I don't mean, that's, that hey. came out bad. <laughs> um, what I mean is someone who doesn't have a lot of experience building trains all the time <laughs> can do it, that is what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> so that was good. Yeah. That was pretty silly funny. I hope that. I'm doing this well. Yeah, you just want to get a little bit in there. It doesn't have to be a lot because a lot of it's going to fall out anyway, which is why I wanted the towels. Right. So just. And oh, I think that's probably more than what I was supposed to put in there. That's okay. I don't have a good um, handle on how hard to squeeze it. Yeah, you know, if you squeeze it, it might flow too much. I, I usually just kind of try to tap it so a little bit falls out. Oh, that might have been good information at <laughs> in the beginning of this. Okay, sorry. I should have said something. <laughs> that might have been. Maybe I can get some from that side and put it over here. See? Okay. Because there's yeah. like so much. <laughs> and then, you know, I'll tap from now on. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, sorry guys. I have to turn it this way in order to see it. <laughs> That's okay. But I will turn it back around as soon as I am done with these last two on this side. Tap, tap. <laughs> Reminding myself. Tap, tap. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to use this tool on both of them. Because I didn't get to use it on that one. Yeah. It only just needs a thin coating. and. It's easier to try, it's easier to coat the plastic side frames than it is to try to coat the axle ends because it doesn't tend to stick to the metal, <laughs> you know. Right. Where it will stick better to the plastic. Okay, and then back in the cradle. Yeah, back in the cradle. All right. And we want to um, putting the new wheels in is exactly the opposite procedure from taking the old wheels out. It's still a little tricky. You got to kind of. These are more tricky than like a freight thing. car. So you got to basically push, push on the side frame and the wheel at the same time until you can get it in there. Um, oh. you, I always spin them to make sure that they're actually, you know, going to roll well. Did you get? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm working on it though. Oh, okay. did I just do it? No, no, it's not in there all the way. You gotta um, so spread it and push. Ah. Okay. <laughs> that see one's that one's caught too. Hang on, I'm trying to do it so people can see, and it's not in the best um, area yeah. for me. So yeah, as soon as you gotta push on. Oh the my goodness! Ah. Want some help? <laughs> yes, I want some help. <laughs> okay. For those of you that don't have Daniel in your house for help, I do apologize. <laughs> okay, then you almost had it. I almost had it. I was so close. Yeah. All it was right. just a little, it wasn't in the pocket, it was like above it. Well, I have to admit, it's really hard to see the pocket because it's black on yeah. black. Yeah, and these, these trucks have um, slots for the wheels instead of being open. So, it, like, the wheel has to be just in the right spot or it won't go down all the way, which um, oh, okay. makes I'm it a little more difficult that too. Than, all right. than some others. So these cars are a little harder than average, maybe. Okay, I'm seeing what you're saying. Yeah. All right, and so I'm gonna try on this side first. No, 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 no. Yeah, they're a little you hard. You have to do it like that first, right? Yeah. What? I'm so worried about breaking it. Yeah, I know, they're, it's a little, we don't want to break these, but they are a little bit flexible, so that's. They are? <laughs> I know it's they not, don't feel like they are. They're, they're, they're not. These are actually some of the hardest cars I've done. Maybe this wasn't a good beginner example. Right. <laughs> but the process is, is the same regardless. That's moving. No, that's not in the right place. Yeah. 
So even I'm having difficulty with this. Which goes to show you that you're never too far along to learn more stuff. Right. My goodness. I feel like there's people at home like, just take it from her, Daniel. She's going to break it. <laughs> I am like, okay. oof. Oh, the kitty's back. Oh. There. That's two. <laughs> Actually, technically three, right? Because you did one of mine. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. <laughs> While I'm still struggling to get one to work. Oh, my goodness. I don't think that it's a bad um, beginner video. I just think my hands have very little strength. Okay. And it's a difficult thing for me. Yeah, these... Like, because you come over and you do it perfectly fine and I'm so worried about breaking it. I just, well, it feels like I'm gonna have to break it in order to put it in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I mean, I don't want to break it either because it is plastic and it only will take so much <laughs> abuse, you know. Have mercy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I got this one wedged in real good, and it's not in the right place either. So this is good, though. It shows people. Oh, there. Okay, got one end. It's also like okay, so it swings a lot. I don't know if there's a way to stop it from swinging. And when it's swinging on the one edge, then that edge is blocking you from being able to put it down. But I can't keep it from swinging and pull and push. I'm just not either coordinated enough or... Okay, so I got it into the same place I got it into last time, which is close, but not okay. there. It's almost there. Yes. So you, if you push... Uh, maybe this, these do actually... I'm having to kind of muscle it here. Yes, yes, you are. Thank you. He is, really. <laughs> uh, this is, they get wedged in there. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. No losing those. Yeah. Number. Yeah. That was your rule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are actually a little bit harder than the average freight car, which is usually pretty simple. Um, there. But there's been nothing simple about the Hogwarts train though so far. There's so been far. nothing simple. Yes, but it's magic. It's magic, yes. Unfortunately we can't just wave a magic wand and have this be finished, which would be awesome. But that would um, be awesome. You know, it doesn't work. This is actually kind of good though, because normally in my videos, I, I like, um, I don't show the whole, all the yes. pain and suffering that goes into making something. I just kind of <laughs> show the process, and then we cut to them through the magic of TV. It's already done. Yes. <laughs> you know, so this is, this is good. Although that one went in pretty easy. Okay. Did I just do it? Did I just put one in? No, maybe I didn't. I don't know. No, it's in the wrong, it's in the wrong place. Okay, well, dream shattered. <laughs> Why is it in the wrong place? This one here, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Then I tried to push it to the right place and it got all off. But I swear, it's that hole right there, right? It's that hole right, yeah. So. Okay, so how is it getting so off? Try to get, maybe just... Oh. I'm sorry, babe, but man, my it's thumbs little... are starting to hurt from this. Yeah, so <clears throat> I <clears throat> pushing on the wheel face and pushing on this at the same time. Yep, I'm doing the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, this is hard. Ow, okay, there's one end. <laughs> and I tried to get the other end there. Okay, you guys saw. With Daniel's fingers, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. My These thumbs might... are like, ow. <laughs> yeah, this is actually, I am actually having to use a fair amount of physical brute force to get this going here. <laughs> <laughs> physical okay. brute force. Most, most wheel sets are not this hard, <laughs> honestly. These are, these are uh, kind of an exception. Aren't we glad we started with this one? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Um, that is now done. That is and now it looks done. like they, yeah, they spin nice. Mm. They're roll. rolling pretty good. Not hearing any noise, which is good. 
And that's basically that. All right. So. And then you did that one, and so now all three are done. All three are done, yes. Yay. And then we can run the train, and it won't keep stalling. That makes me so, so happy. I know we're almost getting ready to probably put all this away for this year, but at least for next year, this will all be <laughs> already done. I love that you said almost and probably in that. He's yeah. like, maybe she'll keep the track up for longer. Who knows? <laughs> it is past Christmas and the first Nassar. Like we're, uh, yeah, I know. We're getting on to it. I've just been but, enjoying having a train ring. Yeah, but I wouldn't be, you know, adverse to just cleaning up just the Christmas stuff. Okay. <laughs> She's awesome. He has no words. <laughs> he has no words. Because unless we have people coming over, which we can't anyway because of the, you know, conditions, then right. what does it matter? We don't need the big, long dining table for anything. That is true. So why not? Okay. You know, as long as we have this area so we can still film your videos. And when mom comes over, we have the three of us because mom loves the train too. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't see why not keep the train track up. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. All right. So anyway, um, that'll be it for this, I think. Um, just, you know, if you're having those kind of problems, um, if you check the plastic wheels on your trains and... If you can, you know, like get a little screwdriver or something uh, and you can scrape off uh, visible uh, crud. It usually is sort of a grayish color. I don't know if it's like oxidation and dirt or some combination of something. I don't know what it is, but it's it's kind of, yeah, you know, <laughs> not very... Just scrape it and drive on is what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, at the very least, you know, clean it off and, um, you know, you can use like... Uh, to clean track or wheels, um, you can use a paper towel and rubbing alcohol works pretty well, um, you know, to, to kind of clean the wheels. But I, I really would recommend uh, replacing any plastic wheels with metal ones. It just, it's so much better. Um, so yeah. anyway, I'll get off my soapbox about that. <laughs> it's been one of my little pet peeves for a long time. <laughs> but, um, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you know, leave a like and a comment. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, respond, and uh, I try to hit every comment that that we get. Make sure make sure Definitely. that we talk to everybody who's uh, you know leaving something, and uh, you know, liking this video, subscribing to the channel, that all helps. So we appreciate it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I think that'll do it for this one, and uh, stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.